Well, greetings everybody. What's today? The 5th or the 6th? Saturday anyway. And I appear to be on the opposite side of the river. <laughs> that current was still kind of sketchy coming across, but I made it. So this is the, uh, right over in there, I got some really, really nice chunky pieces by that tree down in all those pockets and stuff. I mean, all of these big, huge boulders were just hammered in here. So there's going to be uh, some good gold in this. All this gravel mound right here was deposited this winter. That was not there. So I'm going to try to get a setup right there and just do some digging. See what comes of it. But this, this is the deep hole that I really, really, really want to get into. I mean, this is deep. It's got to be a good, I don't know, maybe in the middle about seven feet deep, eight feet deep. But can you imagine? Nobody's been down here doing anything. So gold has just been accumulating and accumulating and accumulating and accumulating over years in this deep hole and nobody is crazy enough like myself to get under there and get it so i'm going to one way or the other all right so i'm going to get a setup i've already been out once in the uh video i put together where i said uh the name of the video was uh the dangers of early prospecting i went there earlier Met up with a guy that wanted a demonstration, made a sale, three foot riverbed hog sold. So then I went back to the house and then came back out here. So time to get busy. Catch you in a bit. So only about 45 minutes later, I did, I built this up here, but that's really deep. I, I, in order, I'm just not happy with the setup today. Um, I just, I can't get enough flow to get good fluidization inside the trap. So it's going to sound crazy. I finally made it over here, but until the water warms up enough where I can actually get into deep water and move bigger rocks, because they're a whole lot easier to move from underwater than from onshore. So I can build this up more. I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything up and head back down there where I was the other day because the water level has gone down some so I can get a setup on that bedrock. But take a look at this. I just dug, there's a big piece of uh, rock that probably came off from somewhere here or whatever. But huge, huge flat rock right here. Big, 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 big thick but I just dug down right in here and I did get a few colors out of this but I know that the vast majority of the gold is going to be further over this way judging by what I found up there that doesn't mean there's no gold over in here I'm sure there is but anyway take a look at what I pulled out of this Pretty. That's coming home with me. <laughs> and it's heavy. Really heavy. Interesting. Got quartz in it. That, uh, that looks like something that needs to be explored. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this package up my stuff. I'm going to walk down this way and cross over. I think it'd be easier. So I'll catch you in a little bit. It's just beautiful up here. Oh yeah. You can get a better look at those trees up there too. Huge mountain. All right, catch you in a little bit. All right, so this is 
that's why I didn't hesitate to come down here. There's areas that have not worked. Now this is where Hung pulled that big eight mesh, eight plus mesh picker out of. There's some good gold in here. We pulled a lot of good gold out of here, but I knew I could get a good setup right there. Nice water pressure, good fluidization in the trap. But this area has not been touched. So I've already pulled, and all this bedrock breaks up. And I've already pulled out a lot of hunks right there. And I've already shoveled material into the trap to make sure it was set up right. And it's working really nice. All right, so I'm gonna get busy digging. Catch you in a bit. Well, making progress, broke a whole bunch more out of there. I don't have my suction hand dredge with me, so I'm not gonna be able to totally clean the bottom, but I've seen gold on the skid plate, so that's a good thing. And the sun came out. Loving it. All right, get back to you in a bit. Been about an hour and 45 minutes or so. I just did a clean out. It's all in the pan. But with my hand swishing the water over and all the gravels getting, getting into the lowest point, I was able to get it fairly clean. <coughs> I plan on coming back out again tomorrow. So maybe I'll bring in my suction hand dredge. And there's a good pocket right here too goes down in and then that's bedrock there that goes down in this way so this could all be cleaned out over here last year I did really well right in here there's a bunch of pockets you can see it over here and so that that could be a good spot cleaning that right out but I'll go ahead and pan this back I don't really have any place I can set the camera up. I don't think. So I'll go ahead and pan this and see what we get. Be back in a sec. All right. Probably about, I don't know, maybe 30, 40 pieces in there. One good sized piece. But it's all, even that smaller stuff, as with last year, is really chunky. I don't know if you're able to see it or not. Actually, I can see that bigger piece on the camera. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm gonna piece down here. So, if I can get that suction hand dredge up in here tomorrow, I'm sure there's more that I missed on the bottom. And I'm pretty sure that this big hunk right here will come out of there as well. And I do have a crowbar down here from last year that I stashed. And it's still there. See it? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess. I think I'm done for the day. I think. Yeah. All right. Ice is melting off really good up here. Totally different than it was the other day when I was here. Right up here is where I dug, did some testing before. And I see a lot of black sand in here. This gravel bar would be really good, but boy, I'll tell you what, some monster rocks in here to be moving around. 
But this was all ice the other day. That's where I dug the other day. Still a little bit more to melt, but it's going. The other spot, just right up around the corner here, just out of sight. I don't know if you can see that dot of sunshine through the trees. Right there. Alright. Look at that, it's all bedrock right there. All ripped out from over here to over there in the center. A lot of potential here. A lot of potential, especially if I got underwater. Might need more weight, brother Ed. <laughs> Be floating away even with 60 pounds on, especially in this current. Hey. Right. So I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching.